Wild Life Watchers, Sophie here, and today we're going to be exploring just what wild things we can find right on our doorsteps. Are you ready to become a garden scientist? Okay, it might seem a bit boring, but it's amazing how cool everyday objects like leaves, lichen and moss look when we peer at them a bit more closely. You are going to need a magnifying glass or something similar, maybe even a little plastic pot or a smartphone or camera with a good zoom so that you can see your object a bit more closely. You might also want to use a torch. You will also want a selection of your favourite objects that you want to take a closer look at. So I have some twigs with some lichen on, I have a rose bush leaf, I have a beech tree bud and some new leaves as well and a dock leaf. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to keep it simple to start with and take a closer look at something that we see all the time, especially now that it's spring. Now leaves are amazing because they are the organ of a plant. So the plant cannot survive without leaves. They act a bit like our brain or our hearts or our lungs. Leaves are so important to help a plant survive. So as you can see, leaves are mostly flat and thin so that they can capture loads of sunlight to make food for the plant, but also to pump out lots of oxygen for us so that we can breathe. You can even see from the zoom on my phone, which is what I'm using to film this, we can see loads of these amazing veins throughout the leaf. That was great, but I think we need to involve the torch. Oh, that one's even better. Yes, look at that. Can you see all of those veins working their way throughout the leaf? They act as transporters of water, vitamins, minerals, all the food that the plant needs in order to grow. It also acts a bit like scaffolding that you see on the outside of houses. It helps giving support and structure to the whole leaf. Can you see all those tiny little squares in amongst the veins? Those are hundreds and hundreds of plant cells and they help exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the leaves, which basically means that plants help us to breathe throughout the day. How amazing is that? So I think we can establish that leaves are pretty cool, but how about brand new leaves that we're seeing all over the place because it's spring? How gorgeous is that? All of that is going to be unfurling as the days get warmer. Time for something a bit more hairy. Right in front of me, it is actually growing in between the tiles. And over there, all that black stuff, that is also moss. Moss grows everywhere. Righty ho, this is moss specimen number one. There we are. Now moss is very different from the plants that we have in our garden because they don't have any roots. They attach themselves to hard surfaces all over the place with tiny root-like hairs. Moss is a really, really important feature of our natural world because it's usually one of the first things to settle on a patch of bare ground and they almost look a bit like a carpet. When you look at moss, you think it's just one big plant spread out over a surface but actually when you look more closely it's loads of tiny individual plants living together. Last but not least we're going to take a closer look at something that is absolutely amazing and we see it everywhere through towns and cities and nooks and crannies, trees, brick walls, garden corners. We're going to take a closer look at, wait for it, lichen. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Look at those colours lichen actually made up of two tiny living things a fungus and an algae and they're living together because they both benefit from that relationship so on the outside is usually the hard fungus which is a little bit more protective and a bit more dominant than the algae below but the algae produces food from the energy that the sun gives it while the fungus gathers water there are actually 15,000 different types of lichen and they're often a really good indicator of good clean air. Lichen are also really important because they provide homes for loads of different animals like mites, spiders and moths. How cool was that? How cool was it to see lichen 
really, really up close and actually see that it's an amazing structure that I haven't really looked at before. And I literally just found it lying around in my garden alongside loads of moths. And never underestimate what amazing secrets that you can discover that are literally right under your feet at home. Don't forget to let me and the Wildlife Trust know how you got on and enjoy your wild doorstep adventures. See you soon. Thank you.